all right my dear students after learning how to calculate depreciation how to make journal entries and ledger account for provision for depreciation now we are going to learn how to make a disposal account and prior to doing that we are also going to learn that how to calculate gain or loss on disposal now what is disposal basically uh, whenever we sell a non current asset we are not using the word sales of non current asset instead we use disposal of non current asset okay because sales word is used whenever we are selling goods inventory or stock okay whenever we are selling a non current asset because it is something that is uh, of use okay whenever we are selling some building machinery or computer or motor vehicle or furniture we are going to uh, use the word disposal okay now whenever we sell some asset we need to calculate the gain or loss on disposal okay first of all now as you can see in note number 3 uh, 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 it is the same question we have done it many times on 1st september 2016 we have sold the machine which was bought in 2013 for 40000 now as you can see in 2013 ard textiles bought a machine for 100000 and after 3 years after 2013 14 and 15 uh, in last year that is 2016 we have sold the machine uh, the 100000 machine we have sold it for 40000 okay so the requirement is here Uh, we need to state gain or loss on disposal so first of all before making a disposal account disposal account basically records uh, how much uh, gain or disposal uh, there was uh, we need to record that but before recording we first uh, actually need to calculate that how much gain or loss has taken place so how can we calculate gain or loss first of all the starting point would be the cost of the asset now as you can see the machine originally cost us 100000 okay now we are going to charge depreciation uh, for 3 years that is 2013 14 and 15 why we are not going to charge depreciation for 2016 although we have uh, sold the asset uh, close to the end of the year but still we are not going to charge depreciation 2016 why because ard textiles is using full year policy in a full year policy we need to charge depreciation the year of purchase full year depreciation the year of purchase no depreciation the year of disposal okay so we are not going to charge depreciation for 16 instead we are going to charge depreciation till 15 only okay so year 13 14 and 15 3 years so the depreciation rate in this question is 15% straight line now as you may be aware that in a straight line we are going to charge equal depreciation each year so the first year we are going to charge 15% on 1 lakh so 1 lakh 15% would be 15000 second year it would be 15000 again because in a straight line method we are going to charge equal depreciation each year okay in the third year again 15000 so if i add up all of these 15000 or 15000 times 3 years multiply by 3 so the total depreciation till date is 45000 so the asset that originally cost us 100000 we sold that uh, asset and prior to selling that we know that we have charged depreciation of, of total 3 years that is 45000 now if i deduct total depreciation from the cost of the asset i am left with a value of nbv net book value net book value is the value remaining in our books after charging total depreciation till date okay so after nbv uh, i am going to compare this net book value from the disposal proceeds now as you can see how much this asset has fetch us uh, on disposal we have sold the machine for 40000 only okay now the book value that we do had in our books was 55 and we sold the asset for 40000 okay so we have sold it for less than book value as you can see so therefore the 15000 difference it is a loss on disposal and if instead we have sold the asset at more than book value if we have sold it for more than book value then the difference uh, let's suppose we have sold it for 60000 then the 5000 difference would be 
gain on disposal okay whenever we are selling it for less than book value it is a loss and whenever we are selling uh, for more than book value then it is a gain on disposal okay so now once we have learned how to calculate gain or loss then it's the time to record gain or loss now there are two methods of recording uh, these disposal entries uh, one method is this that we can record in a journal journal you must you may be aware of your earlier studies that we have a special book of original entry that is journal journal and in, in that journal journal all non routine transaction took place so first of all we need to learn that how to prepare journal entries or double entries for gain or loss okay so basically there are four entries that are involved whenever we sell a non current asset so the first entry is of the original cost okay so first entry would be made for the amount that uh, was the original cost of the business now the second entry that needs to be made is for the total depreciation of the asset that is accumulated depreciation also known as provision for depreciation now the third entry that we do have is for the proceeds of disposal that is the amount that we have received on the disposal of the asset and lastly we have entry for gain or loss okay so just remember whenever we sell a non current asset we need to make these four entries so first of the first of all we need to remove the original cost of the asset from our books because the asset has been disposed of okay now as you may be aware that the machine or any non current asset is debit in nature okay an asset always has a debit nature so whenever we have sold the machine the machine account would be credited by the original cost that is 100000 and what will be debited just remember in these four disposal entries we always use disposal at one of the sides okay if the machine is being credited then the other entry must be in bear in a disposal account okay if the machine is being credited then the disposal account must have been debited now the second entry uh if we have sold the asset then we also do, no longer require the provision for depreciation i sometimes give uh, my student an example if some person has left you okay so you do not ne uh, need to uh, stay uh, remember him or her okay you just need to uh, flush the people that have left you okay for good so the total depreciation of the asset also needs to be removed okay so the provision is basically credit in nature and what happens if we need to close the provision account we need to debit the provision account okay we need to reverse the entry if the machine is debit in nature then the machine should be credited uh, okay and if the provision is credit in nature so whenever we are selling a machine so the total depreciation of the machine should be debited now as you can see the total provision was 45000 provision is being debited and what happens on the credit side you must remember on the opposite side always comes a disposal okay so in all of these four entries one side should always be disposal now the third entry once we sold the asset we have received the money through check or maybe cash so the cash or bank would always be debited because we have received the money and what happens if we have sold the asset on credit instead of writing bank or cash we are going to write the name of the customer to whom we have sold the asset okay we are going to debit uh, whoever customer it is mr ali or whatever whoever he is so the bank or customer would be debited and disposal account would once again be credited okay so where would a disposal account comes you do not need to remember the position of disposal account why because the Uh, because disposal account has no relation whatsoever okay it can come on the debit or it can come on the credit as well okay so if we have sold the machine if the machine is being credited then the disposal would be debited again if the provision is credit in nature and we are closing the provision if the provision is being debited then the disposal would be credited thirdly if the bank or customer is increasing so asset is debiting bank or customer then the disposal would be credited and lastly there is a loss now you may remember from the earlier study from double entry uh, concepts that a loss or expense is always debit in nature why is a loss debit or why is an expense debit because 
it reduces our capital okay so a capital is always credit in nature so whenever uh, the capital is being reduced therefore capital is debited okay so anything that increases our capital that is profit income or gain it is always credited and whenever uh, something uh, decreases our capital it should be debit so the income statement is debited income statement would be debit and we uh, must not forget to write gain or loss in brackets otherwise you will lose one mark for this and if the income statement is being debited then the disposal account would be credit and what happens if there is a gain sir if there is a gain then the entry would be reversed then the income statement would be credited why because the profit is credit in nature and if the income statement is being credited then the disposal account would be debited so my dear students are you able to understand sometimes the examiner asks us just to calculate gain or loss if the examiner asks us to calculate gain or loss so we are going to do this working if the examiner asks us to make disposal entries then we need to make these four entries and this gain or loss we can just do uh, maybe in the calculator or we can show some workings and then sometimes the examiner asks us to prepare a disposal account now how can we prepare a disposal account it's very easy if you have already learned how to make entries we ju just need to place these entries in a t account okay now you must remember that in the first entry as you can see disposal account is being debited okay so as you may be aware from the earlier studies that in a t account the left hand side is always debit and the right hand side is always credit okay if the disposal is being debited we are going to debit this and we need to write the reference of machine now as you may be aware that uh, uh, double entry rules are that that whenever we debit an account we need to cross reference uh, with the credit side okay now in the second entry as you can see the disposal account is being credited so we need to write the reference of provision for depreciation also known as accumulated depreciation this means the total depreciation till date of the asset that we have sold now thirdly whenever we sell the asset now as you can see disposal is being credited so again we need to credit the disposal account and this time we are going to write the reference of bank if we have sold the asset through check and the name of the customer if we have sold the asset on credit okay name of the customer and lastly we are going to uh, credit the disposal account again and if the disposal account is being credited we need to write uh, cross reference of the opposite side that is income statement and one must never forget to write gain or loss in brackets otherwise you will lose one mark now disposal account my dear students is a temporary account and it is just need to in order to record gain or loss so in a disposal account we do not have a balance cd or balance bd okay in a disposal account we never have a balance bd or cd so what we need to do we just need to total both of the sides and if we have made the disposal account correct then both of the sides should always balance now as you can see debit and credit side are both equal and what uh, will happen if there is a gain then the income statement would come on the debit side then the entry would be income statement would be credited and disposal would be debited so it doesn't make any difference that it's a gain or a loss disposal account should always balance both of the sides should always be equal now as you can see in question number 2 we also need to make disposal account for this question number 2 let us see let us do some working in this as well uh stevros question uh in note number 1 as we can read on 31st january 2012 equipment that we purchased in april 2009 at a original cost of 28000 was sold for 10000 so payment was received by check what is the requirement in this requirement uh, we already learned how to make a provision account in the earlier lesson and now we need to learn how to make a disposal account now disposal account basically records the gain or loss that has been incurred or earned for income we use earned for expense we uh, or loss we use incurred okay so disposal account basically record gain or loss on disposal 
okay so before recording that one must know that how to uh, what was actually the gain or loss so first of all we need to calculate gain or loss and how can we do that in this question we also did that previously when we were making provision account let me revise that again now as you can see in note one the asset where you have sold this year uh, we originally bought the asset when on 1st April 2009 what was the original cost that is 28,000 now in this question as you can see the examiner has does, does not mentioned us that was was the total depreciation at the date of disposal now what we need to do we need to find the total depreciation till date okay by our own and how can we find that now as you can see what is the year end uh, year end is always uh, given in the requirement the year is ending in August now we bought the asset on April and we need to see that when will next August come after April. After April 2009, next August will come in 2009 only. Okay. So first year would end on August 2009. Although uh, there haven't been an uh, entire year, but uh, as you can see, there is a full year policy here, full year depreciation and no depreciation the year of sale. So we do not need to worry about the exact number of months. Okay. So first of all, we are going to chart depreciation that is 20% on this value that is 28,000. Okay. On the 28,000, if we are going to apply 20%, the depreciation would be 5,600, 28,000 times 20%. Now in the second year, that is 2010, uh, as it's a straight line method, in a straight line, we always chart depreciation equally each year. In 2011, also, we are going to chart 5,600 of depreciation. What happens in 2012? Now, as you can see, 2012 is the current year as we have sold the asset in 2012. We do not need to chart depreciation for the last year that is 2012. Now, as you can see, the total depreciation that we have charged till date for the three long years is 16,800. Now, what we need to do, we need to deduct the total depreciation from the original cost in order to arrive at net book value. Net book value is the value remaining in our books after charging total depreciation. Okay. NBB is 11,200 and how much amount we have received on uh, disposal we have sold the asset for 10,000 now as you can see we have sold the asset for less than its book value if we are selling for less than book value then the difference would be a loss and if instead if we can sell it for more than 11,200 maybe 12,000 if we have sold it for 12,000 that the 800 would be gain okay so if the examiner is only asking us uh, to calculate gain or loss, we just need to do this working. Okay. But in this question, the examiner has asked us to prepare a what? To prepare a disposal account. Okay. So we can also do some practice and we need to learn uh, making journal entries first. Uh, because uh, if once we have done with making a journal entries for disposal, uh, then making disposal account is basically a piece of cake okay now uh, uh, as you may be aware that we have to make four entries for disposal now the first entry is for the original cost that is 80 uh, 28000 the second entry that we need to make is the total depreciation till date that is 16800 now the third entry that we need to make is the actual amount that we have received on disposal that is bank or maybe if we have sold uh, on credit we need to write the name of the customer and lastly we need to make the entry for gain or loss so these are basically the four entries uh, that we need to make whenever we sell or whenever we dispose of a non-current asset now let me quickly make some entries for you now as you can see we have sold what we have sold equipment now equipment is an asset and it has a debit nature whenever we sell the equipment then the equipment account would be reversed then the equipment account would be credited and if we have credited the equipment account with the original cost first entry would be for original cost then the opposite side should always be a disposal now you must remember in all of these four entries one side should always come as disposal okay on the one side we are going to write disposal now if we have sold the asset we do not uh, no longer require the memories of person uh, that uh, have left us okay so we need to uh, free ourselves from the memories okay the nostalgia of that person so what we need to do we need to remove the provision as well now as you can see the total provision till date of the asset that we have disposed is 16,800 
Now the provision for depreciation also known as accumulated depreciation is basically credit in nature. Okay. Now uh, what happens if we have disposed of the asset the, so the provision account would be debited. If we have debited the provision account then what we need to do we need to credit the disposal account. Okay. So the provision would be debited and disposal account would be credited. Now thirdly uh, we need to make the entry for the amount that we have received on disposal then the bank would be debited. Now what happens if we have uh, the bank is being debited. Now what happens uh, if we have sold the asset on credit. If we have sold the asset uh, on credit we need to write the name of the customer instead of bank and if the bank and customer or customer is being debited then the disposal account would be credited. Okay. So always there is a disposal entry on the opposite side. Okay. Lastly we have a uh, loss. Why? Because we have sold the asset for less than book value then it's a loss on disposal. So the entry would be income statement debited uh, and we uh, must not forget to write gain or loss in the brackets uh, as it will uh, award you one mark in the exam. Okay. So if the income statement is being debited by 1200 then the disposal account would be credit. So these are basically four entries for disposal. Now as you can see in this question the examiner has not asked for entries. Instead the examiner has asked us to make a disposal account. Now once we are done making with entries the uh, preparing entries now uh, uh, the, to prepare a, an account is very easy. Once we are uh, we have prepared the entries in the first place. Now as you can see in the first entry we have debited the disposal account uh, that and uh, now in a T account the left hand side is always debit and the right hand side is always credit. So we need to debit the disposal account and uh, in a double entry there is a rule whenever we debit an account we need to cross reference it with the credit side okay so on the credit side there is a equipment now secondly in the second entry we are going to credit the disposal account and this time the reference would be provision for depreciation or accumulated depreciation it is also known as accumulated depreciation now what will be the date that we are going to write on both of the sides we are going to write the actual date on which we have sold the asset okay we are going to write the actual date but in the last entry that is income statement entry we are not going to write the date of disposal instead uh, the income statement is made at the end of the year. So in an income statement entry gain or loss entry we are going to write the year end date. Okay. Now the third entry we have a debited the bank and we need to credit the disposal account. So we are going to credit the disposal and in this time we are going to write reference that is bank. Lastly as you can see. Lastly there is another entry and this time disposal is being credited again and we need to write income statement and we not, do not forget to write the gain or loss in the brackets. Okay, Now as you can see we, uh, I have written the date of year end in the income statement. Okay, and All other entries we are going to write 31st January that is date of disposal. Uh, now as you may be aware that disposal account is just a temporary account and it is used to record gain or loss. Okay. So therefore there is a no there is no balance CD in this. We, we uh, need to just need to balance both of the sides. Okay. We just need to balance both of the sides in a disposal account and this is how we make a disposal account. Let us do one more question for disposal account. It's question number three Sandbury products. Sandbury products own two motor vehicles motor vehicle A and B. We have two vehicles and the combined cost for both of them was 30,000 and the total provision that has been charged till date at the start of the year was 10,800 and out of these two motor vehicles A and B we have sold one of the vehicle that is vehicle B. So what we need to do we need to first calculate gain or loss profit and loss. Now it's very easy to calculate gain and loss once we are given with the total depreciation. Okay. Now as you can see the original cost of vehicle B was 14,000 original cost and then from that we need to uh, minus the total depreciation till date that is 5040. Now if I deduct uh, 5040 from the original cost I am left with net book value NBV net book value. This is the value that is remaining in our books after charging total depreciation till date. Now as you can see I have sold the asset to X garage on credit for how much amount 9500. Now the book value that we do have in our books is 8960 but we have sold the asset uh, for more than our book value. 
then in this case the difference is a gain on disposal okay we do not need to worry about uh, if it's coming in plus or minus we just need to remember that if we have sold it for more than book value then it's a gain and if we have sold it for less than book value then it's a loss and you can also remember this way that a gain is basically credit in nature therefore it's coming in the minus and if it was a loss instead then it would be come on the plus side okay because loss is debit in nature so this is how we calculate gain or loss so what is the other requirement we need to prepare journal entries for disposal now it's very easy to make journal entries you must remember there are four entries whenever we sell an asset the, the first entry uh, is for the original cost of the asset the second entry is for total depreciation till date that is accumulated depreciation now the third entry is for the actual amount that we have received or we are going to receive if we have sold the asset on credit and this is the case here we have sold it to x garage for on credit and lastly we need to calculate gain or loss now the first entry is for motor vehicle cost now as you can see motor vehicle is asset and the nature for asset is debit and whenever we sell the asset then the asset account would be credited and if we have credit the asset account then the disposal account would be debited okay this is the first entry second entry provision for depreciation or accumulated depreciation is credit in nature and what happens if we have sold the asset we need to uh, close the provision and we need to transfer it to where uh, to a disposal account now the total depreciation till date of the uh, vehicle that we have sold this year was 5040 uh, that would be debited and on the opposite side we are going to write disposal third entry we have sold the asset to x garage now instead of writing bank debit we are going to debit x garage if x garage is being debited then the disposal account would be credited and lastly we have to make the entry for gain or loss okay we need to make the entry for gain or loss now as you can see we have sold the asset for more than the book value then it's a gain then the entry would be income statement would be credited why because the gain is always credit in nature and if the gain is being credit then the disposal account would be debit okay and what happens if there is a loss then the entry would be reversed then the income statement would be debited and we need to write uh, in brackets it's a loss and disposal would be credited okay so there were six marks in order to make this so although we are not required to make a disposal account here but we can make a disposal account for just for our practice now as you can see in the first entry disposal is being debited so we need to debit the disposal account left hand side is debit and we need to write the reference that is motor vehicle second entry as you can see disposal is being credited so if you are crediting the disposal then the opposite cross reference would be provision for depreciation also known as accumulated depreciation then the third entry we are crediting disposal account again and this, this time we are going to write reference uh, as x garage and what happens if we have sold for cash or bank then we are going to write the reference of cash and bank or bank then lastly we need to debit the disposal account in this case and we are going to cross reference it with income statement and we must not forget to write gain or loss in brackets now disposal account is a temporary account and it is balanced okay every year uh, not every year basically whenever we sell the asset we are going to do this make a disposal account and at the end of the year disposal account gain or loss would be transferred to where income statement so this is basically how we make disposal entries and how we prepare disposal account